How to use Clock Shark, Clock Shark tutorial for beginners. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can start using Clock Shark and its services. Basically, if you want to go to their website, just go to clockshark.com right here, and then you'll land on this particular website right here. So it looks like this, you guys. On the top part, you can see your timesheets and more pricing resources login of course if you already have an account or you can schedule a consultation to one of their agents or to maybe one of their yeah one of the people from their company and next is to get started for free this is what you want to do later on let's get to that but let's try and take a look at what this app offers it says here running a field service or construction business takes coordination and a great team with clark shark you get the industry's number one timesheet app plus everything you need to finish jobs quickly and accurately while getting paid faster. Okay, so you can see now here what the app is all about. It's a timesheet app and it involves coordination and, you know, working with teams. So basically, it's like a work management app. But let's go ahead and see how it's different from other platforms. Let's try and click this button right here. Try Clock Shark for free. All right, so what you want to do first is to do this step, which is to create our account, which means we have to input details such as our first name right here and, of course, our last name right over here. Now, for the email, you can input your business email or your personal email as well. So let me just input my email right here. All right. And, of course, for the password, let's try and generate password Let's click next step. And after that, your business phone, your company name, which is like Yoke. It's a pseudo name. It's a cafe name. Yeah. And the industry, let's choose one from. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Clock Shark is a platform focused for construction. So maybe let me think of another pseudo name company, which is like um, 24, 24 construct. Yeah, maybe 24 Construct is like we do jobs 24 hours a day, stuff like that. 24 Construct. Let's try and click on um plumbing. No. Is there like an interior designing right over here? Construction or trade? That's enough. And next is the number of employees. Let me choose 11 and 25. And let's go to our dashboard by clicking that button right over there. And then as you can see, it's now creating our account. All right, so here we are, you guys. So this is our dashboard right over here. So now you can see here that the pro plan trial expires on January 6th. And you can add card if you want to extend the service. But before that, let's explore how we can start using this platform right here. So now, mobile time tracking. Have you used the mobile app and seen the power of tracking time infused with the location data? Let's get another team member on board so i think that their mobile platform also works best for when you are moving around because um it says here that it's infused with the location data so basically you'll have an overview of where your employees are working how are they doing it stuff like that you can add an employee by clicking this button right over here so let me start and add in my employee by clicking that now let's add in an employee by clicking this button right over here. So let me just go ahead and input employee, employee two, and then the email would be like that. And then the, now let's click on that password. Well, you're inputting all these information because, um, you know, the employee should also actually log in as well for him to access uh, this app. So it means that you're signing up one employee for this particular dashboard which we just created and then you can click on the permissions that you want that employee to, to do or can do and let's click on add an employee now i already have another employee here just for the sake of you guys seeing it now a while ago you saw just me and now we have two people on the list and let's try and go back to the dashboard right here now job flow you can also add in a job right here and then add a quote right over here. Now, on the tab part, on the top part, what else is here? We can also access schedules, view, 
approve under timesheets, time off policies and requests. And of course, you can also access your time clock right on this tab right here. For the work, we have here customers, jobs, tasks, quotes, and invoices. And reports, you can access them here for the admin. You can manage people right over here, employees, departments, locations, if you work for various locations. And also the settings, company billing and payment, alerts and reminders, clock out questions, quotes, invoices and payments, data import, integrations, and audit log. Okay, so now we've already added an employee. Now let's add in like a job to complete. You can see here, there are already like uh, data inputted. These are just the sample data right here and you can see how it works. Now, once you've inputted the name, it will show up here, customer will show up here, stuff like that. But basically, if you want to add a job, just click this button right over here and then add in the name right here, the number, stage, is it new, is it ready to be scheduled, is it in progress, is it completed or canceled or on hold? And for the customer, you can choose from the sample data from here. You can either choose in a group or like an individual and the address of your customer as well and description of this job if you want to add in more. You can add it, you can finally add the job by clicking this button right here, create job. And if you want to set up more settings, click on additional settings right here. And what can you see here? Yes, let's try to input the name first. The job name is required, you guys. So like maybe let's input in delivery. All right, so once you've done that, let's click on additional settings. Okay, so additional settings, you guys, you can see here things that you can tick like enable GPS fence, restrict employee access, restrict task, track labor budget. These are the stuff that you can do for this particular job. And then you can click on enable GPS fence and let's save that one right here. There is an highlighted uh, feature or yeah, that we need to tick. Okay, fence size, maybe just like 200 meters or closer. Yeah, or a lot, there you go. Oh, where's the problem? Oh yeah, location, okay. All right, there you go, I clicked a location just for, oh, there you go, you have to click a location not just drag the distance up or down. You have to click a certain location and after that you're done. Now let's take a look at the jobs that we created. Okay, here you go. You have this job right over here and what you can do is to update stage by clicking this button right here to create quote, create invoice, manage associations, edit settings and delete. You can manage associations by clicking this and choose customers from this list and then invoices. You can add in an invoice and then click save right here. And once this job is done, you can actually update the stage right here. In progress, complete, canceled, on hold, or remove stage. You can, you can in progress right over there. So basically, that's how Clock Shark work, you guys. This is just a basic um, tutorial. I just showed you basic features that you can go ahead and explore by yourself later on. So what do you think about this platform, you guys? Is it worth the try? So let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will see you again in the next video. That's it for this video. Peace out.